So now it's the last wicket, you fellows. Our backs are right up to the wall, and we're facing some very fast bowling. But this wicket is not going to fall. We've got all our pads and our gloves on, and there's one thing that can't be denied. We'll crack every ball through the covers if we play out for the side. For a thousand years, chaps, our fine teamwork has got the applause and the stand. No invader has passed our defences. No umpire has lifted his hand. And now that they use all their cunning and body line bowling is tried, they'll find we can hit to the boundaries if we play up to the side. We've kept up the scoring for centuries. We've always played a straight bat. And we don't mean to finish our innings. We'll never say out to how's that. They can close in from every direction. They can mock, they can sneer and deride. But we'll knock them for six without question if we play up to the side. Yes, we used to have Hammond and Sutcliffe. Australia fought us in peace. But now all the empire is fighting and Churchill is there at the crease. So open your shoulders, you fellows. Let's take what may come in our stride and we'll win. They can't take this wicket if we play up to the side. And there was the um, young husband, too, who thought that he ought to plant potatoes in the back garden. But he was not sure whether the soil was right and just as he was thinking of planting the potatoes, he was called up to the army. After a while, he wrote a letter to his wife and said, Don't do anything about the garden until you see what is underneath. This was censored, and a bunch of detectives came round and said to the wife, uh, We want to look at your garden. So they spent two days searching and digging it. The wife thereupon wrote a letter to the husband and said, As soon as I had your letter, which was censored, a whole lot of detectives have been round and dug up all the garden. What shall I do now? The husband wrote back and said, Plant the potatoes. 